Hey everybody, Nerd Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers Titans Returned Deluxe Class Skull Smasher. Oh, here's the true infamous one of the Wave 1 figures. Uh, Skull Smasher was originally in G1 Skull Cruncher, but due to trademark issues they had to change the name, and well, close enough. Let's start with his Titan Master, which is actually kind of nice. I like the black and green aesthetic, and he actually has his face painted gold. And his eyes were left unpainted to kind of give like a black and sh black shaded look, and I really like that. Uh, I believe his name is Grax, if I remember correctly. G R A X, Grax, Grax, something like that. Here he is with Hardheads, Hardheads Titan Master, and you can see there is some molding differences. Um, on the arms, there is a bit different molding. The legs don't have as much molding, at least on the sides and on the front. So it is nice to see some different molding on these different type masters, although I don't care much, to me it's all about the head mode. But for interaction, there are some pegs on the uh, arms of the crocodile, so where you can actually, oh, there we go, I get lined up. You can actually have them standing on the arm like that. I don't think there's any other peg spots though, but you can have him pilot it. In the original I believe he actually sat in the head, but you can't do that anymore. So what you do is you gotta get him this like he's sitting in a chair position and just drop him on in. He, he's pretty snug in there too, he doesn't go anywhere. And this piece right here, this flap is actually made of rubber, as you can hear the squeak from it. I would not recommend closing it all the way, I always leave it just a hair open like that. Because when you close it all the way, it's, a, it's almost impossible to get it back out. It's a real pain. He does have another accessory, his gun. Which, there is a peg hole on his tail where you can actually have it pegged in like that. Or you can come to the underside where the pe with the same hit peg hole, peg it in, and have it be a part of his tail. So now he has a gun tail. You could also include the uh, handle for gun mode later as a part of it too. But yeah, it's actually a pretty nice looking alligator. I like the dark green they chose, gives him a very swampish, very menacing look. And even the pink, I was worried about it being pink for a Decepticon, but it actually does look pretty good with the green. It's a very dark, like a very dark pink, and it doesn't look that bad. He does, being an alligator, he does have articulation. His tail is pegged in on a hinge. His uh, back legs are on a ball joint, so you can move him outward and inward, and you can have him go all, all around. He's up, his front legs are his arms in robot mode, so they have a lot more articulation with a swivel here, an elbow here, and a swivel for the claw itself, so you have two swivel joints. So you can have his legs flat on the ground. And you can move the claws up and down if you want to kind of get use these more as like a standing legs, I guess. I've seen some people use them like this. I personally don't care for that look, but it does work if you so wish to have a more up off the ground. And while we have him like this, his head is on a ball joint. You actually have to attach it because it's separate in the box. But it is a really good ball joint. You get plenty of movement and swiveling around. And of course the mouth is also on a hinge and opens enough. You can see the detail of his tongue on there. It's pretty cool. Now there is a, a gimmick with this, as if you take the tail off, which is just simply pegged under there, you can see there's kind of a seat here. So if we get Grax back out, come on, come out of there, there you go. Put him in the basic sitting position. Probably should move the gun out of the way. You can sit him in there. Oh yeah, you gotta move the arms up too. It's a pretty tight fit, but you can get him to sit in this as per part of the Titan, Titan gimmick. His leg does kind of pig into there and then you just put the gun on and there you go. You could call this like some kind of spaceship or maybe have him mounted somewhere, but I know with the blur version of this, they have like a kickstand to help hold it up, but with Grax, he's just going to be aiming at the ground. He's just on a sled, basically. So I don't care much for it, but the gimmick is there if you want it. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, one more thing. Here he is next to Hardhead, just to give you guys a good idea of how big he is next to a vehicle. Easier. Without the tail, he's about the same size as most deluxes, so. So let's get him in the robot mode. 
And this is where you're going to see some of the more infamous points of this figure. Go ahead and come down here. You see on the other side that's where his legs are. Go ahead and pop them on up. And you just flip the legs out. They will probably split automatically, but you do have to split them. They actually lock into this green part here. So that way you can keep it separate from the knee. And go ahead and flip out the little feeties. And go ahead and have these legs click back into place. Don't really pop into place anymore, but they do click into there. Come up here and grab the head. And you're going to want to grab this leg here too, because if you don't... Oh, okay, it doesn't do it this time. Oh well. This, this part right here is really loot. can be kind of popped off easily, so... Now, for bringing the head back, I actually leave this flap down as it gives more room for the head to move inward a bit a bit more of a click and lay more flat against his back because otherwise if you have this in he sticks off a bit more so it actually and it doesn't interfere with leg articulation thing so kind of lets the head lay in a bit more you could turn it this way as well but again stick it off a bit more plus having it this way gives you a place to put the gun so bring the arms down on the hinge bring the other arm down on the hinge Swivel them forward, unbend the elbows, go ahead and take the claws, flip them up, and they'll actually click into place. Flip out the hands, flip out the other hand, get him to stand, which is going to be really difficult, and we'll get to that in a minute. Then finally, take his uh, the tight master, you're just basically going to Get like that, flip the legs up in front of him, turn the head around as it does lock in a bit better this way, and just simply place into the socket. And there you have Skull Smasher in his robot mode. Oh, if you'll stand. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we have Skull Smasher in robot mode. Does anybody remember ti uh, Titanium Megatron? Yeah, that figure? I bring him up for a reason. Alright, see, which leg is the loose one? Yeah, that. It went flying across the room. That's how loose the attachment is. Now granted, it'll hold a pose, certainly, but when you actually put his weight on it, I've had times where, yeah, it just does not hold well. Granted, him not having heels either does not help at all. This, I am tired of seeing legs like this. I get that he flips out like that, but he they could have easily put a heel in here somewhere. And there's not a heel, trust me, I've checked. There's not any kind of heel or support that they could use. And yeah, look how easy I tap. Granted, it's a hard tap for my finger, but still. Look how consistently it does that. The other leg does not pop. Well, it pops off, certainly, but not. it doesn't pop off easily unless you pull on it. But the swivel on it is extremely loose. And as for this arm, as I mentioned earlier when I was transforming it, yeah. Look how little effort it took to pull it off. I've had times where I pulled the alligator head off and up and the arm came with it. So where the, the transformation clip was stronger than the ball joint. And I'm not picking on this figure. There's actually an inf a lot of people have had the problem with this figure. A lot of similar problems. I'm kind of lucky with how few have had. And he's a really nice figure. He looks really good. He's a really nice re classic style version of Skull Cruncher. I want to love this figure. His transformation's fun, his robot mode looks good, and his alligator mode looks good. But the loose joints are the just a loose joint like that. It should not be that loose. I don't care how bad the construction should not ever be that loose. I've seen knockoffs with better joints. This one bugs me but does not I don't mind as much. That one I can let go since I actually have to pull on it a little bit. But this loose swivel here and the ball joint it doesn't even try over here. Especially in the legs, if it's in the arms, okay, at least the figure can still stand and just be on the shelf. But if it's in the legs, that's a real problem. Especially when you have legs that have no back support. Granted, you do have this, but if you have the legs splayed even slightly, that's not going to mean a thing. So yeah, that's the infamous part of Skull Smasher here. Here he is next to Hardhead. You can see he's your typical Titan class titan return luck size and we also consider hardhead the best figure 
I wouldn't call Skull Smasher the worst. His loose joints are a big issue, but it really depends on your figure. Like mine, I can at least have him still stand and such. I would call him the worst made figure because of the shy, the, uh, the mass the mass amount of shy design that I don't know if it's design. It's something about this figure just wasn't made well. He can hold his gun. He's meant to hold it like this in the typical Titan Master. Oh, you're supposed to have a Titan Master in there kind of thing. I don't really like how that looks. I prefer having him hold it by the uh, the handle inside of it because for one thing, it gives him like a, a gun arm look. For another, you can even say he has a second, um, a second barrel because of the handle folded down looks like a barrel. And it gives him a big old blaster to use too. And you can even use it as a melee weapon if you want because it's spikes from an alligator. So yeah, he has a lot of issues. Articulation wise, uh, the head does swivel as usual. It's pretty good on there. I mean the head actually holds on there pretty good for Titan Master. And it's not loose like uh, Sentinel Primes was. I uh, do get a ball joint. It doesn't go out very much, but you can use the transformation joint to make up for that. And look at the art leg just fell off. We'll see if we can reattach him. You do get the swivel elbow. You get a swivel under the elbow as well, so you get two swivels, which can be good for a couple certain poses. Kind of makes you wish you came with a melee weapon because that would work really well with this kind of thing. You do get a waist swivel. Which is nice considering the Voyagers have problems with that, and you get the extra swivel, of course. Got the ball joint in the legs, as mentioned, even if they are extremely loose. Or this one's extremely loose. You do get the swivel. Oh, and the leg just came right off. Do you get the swivel? You do get the swivel, even though on this one it's really loose. 90 degree knee, and that's about it for his articulation. It's not bad. I like the extra swivel in the arms, like I said. I just wish he came with a melee weapon to utilize it. And you can technically take this and turn it around and make it to a shield kind of thing. You could technically flip this around and say it's a shield. I guess. I don't really care for it as much, but you could use that as a shield. But I prefer just having the big old gun of alligator tail gun of death. So yeah, that's Skull Smasher. I do like the oh, I do like the silver and red on his chest. That is some really nice bit, and his chest is also painted a little the white. Um, not much paint actually, other than that. Uh, you do get the claws and the little bolts there. Yeah, not a lot of paint. Most of the face, mostly the face is what's painted, and you got some here tampoed with stuff. G1 details. That's another thing. Kind of sucks. He's very bare. Like I know we've been getting less and less paint. You see it with Hardhead too, he just has his chest and his crotch and his face basically. But him, he has a lot more diverse colors, which Skull Smasher does too, but he really could use a little bit of extra. Maybe on the arms to break it up a little bit on the shoulders. Just something. But yeah, I, honest, I want to recommend this figure. I honestly do. He is a very nice figure. Good, um, he has it is a really good looking robot mode, really good articulation. He has a really good al his alligator mode looks really good. His transformation demo a lot of fun, and he has a lot of good gimmicks with his Titan Master. The problem is the Arctic is the uh, loose joints, because on mine, okay, they're good enough that he can stand. But I've seen others where he can't. His legs just splay out and fall and fall off. So I feel like I got ironically enough, as much as I complain about mine, I'm actually one of the lucky ones. So honestly, if you if you can like test the figure, like you buy it second hand or you buy it from a, off a friend who will let you mess with it, I would recommend this figure. But or you know if you don't mind loose joints and you just want to take your lottery pick with the ones on the shelves, go ahead. Because he is a good figure, and if you like Skull Cruncher in the in the Headmasters, yeah, he is a really good reimagining. So I would recommend him just be cautious of these loose joints, and you could possibly even fix them maybe. So, I'm Nary Transformed, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you have a nice day. Take care.